What is up y'all? Today we are doing a closet clean out. I honestly don't know how I'm doing this. Also, please excuse my messy room. The sheets are getting cleaned on my bed and I just need to clean my desk. I don't even want to mention my closet right now. We're going to clean that as well. Alright, so basically how this is going to go is I'm just going to go through my closet basically this is my dresser the game plan is if i have not worn a piece within three months or i just don't like it or it doesn't fit we're getting rid of it and we're going to donate it if it doesn't fit that criteria then we're keeping it because that's a good piece of clothing y'all can't give up those let's do this okay first up is this pink tank top i got it where did I get it? I got it... Mm -mm, wait. <laughs> I got this at Target a couple months ago. It's very cute. Except it's like really short. Probably cute for summer as a swimsuit cover up. Cover up. Why can I not talk? Anyways, we're keeping that. Taylor Swift shirt. I don't really wear it out and about that much. The most comfortable pajama shirt ever. So we're keeping that as well. And we're putting that in the pajama drawer. <gasps> Oh my goodness, this shirt is so sweet. This shirt, I got sent to me in like a small business PR. I'm keeping this. I wear this as pajamas as well. So adorable. I just have nothing that actually matches it, so that's why I don't wear it like actually around town and stuff. This, this is a camp t-shirt. I have another one for memories. This one also kind of has a stain on it, so we're not. I feel like this is like clothing dating it's like a clothing app like a clothing dating app this side is the keep side this side is the not keep side so it's like swipe left if you love it swipe right if you don't love it Ooh, mess with me i mean don't mess with me i don't know these are just undershirts like of course we're keeping those this is a lululemon shirt i love this shirt very much it's so perfect and it goes under a lot of things it's kind of like the perfect and most comfortable undershirt actually ever and it's also really cute and cozy and yeah, I already said that. Next shirt. This is also Lululemon. I promise I'm not like a Sephora girl. I just, I have about two pieces from Lululemon. Okay, the rest is thrifted. It's a cropped swizzly texture. I think that's what it's called. I'm not a Lulu guru. Wait, did that rhyme? I love rhyming. For sure keeping, one is Lulu and I literally cannot get rid of it. It was that much money. So I can't show this. This is my track shirt from middle school. I'm technically still in middle school, but track season is over. I'm going to put that in the go away pile. Look at this. <laughs> it's a soccer jersey and it's cute and I'm loving it. My family goes to a soccer game. Like we go to the city soccer game and we watch it and it's very fun. This is a church shirt. I keep this. This tank top is also another one of those Target tank tops. It's the same thing as the pink tank top, different color, and I'm going to keep it for the same exact reason. I really need to start getting rid of stuff. Oh my goodness. I'm also going to show you this because it has my church name and my church logo on it, but this is the shirt that I got baptized in, so I'm going to keep that for sentimental reasons. Another soccer jersey for when we watch soccer, keeping that as well. Or the Donna's shirt. Why do all my shirts have logos on them that I can't show? I have to keep this because you get extra tokens if you wear your shirt. Once more, a soccer jersey, guys. Unbelievable. The very last two shirts that I do are in this drawer are also things that I cannot show you. This is a running shirt, it's tie-dye, it's adorable. This is an NJHS shirt. Honestly, I'm probably gonna get out of NJHS, so I don't know if I should keep this. Because the thing is, I'm homeschooled, but you have to have in-school service hours. How am I supposed to get in-school service hours when I'm literally not even at the school all the time? Please. Next drawer is, bum ba da bum ba bum <laughs> shorts, and just, bottoms and leggings and pants and it's not in focus nah. I actually very much love all of my pants because these are kind of recent buys I have been out of pants for the longest time so these are probably all going to be keeps as well but what is my problem I need to actually let loose some of these things these shorts everybody thinks that these are Lululemon but I got them for $20 on Amazon <laughs> Me just being me and finding dupes. Keeping these. Also, these are the most happiest color ever. 
The same shorts, but in white. The funniest thing, these have a lot of stains on them. Wait, it came out in the second wash. Anyways, I guess these don't have stains. Actually, they do have stains. I spilled red paint on these. You can barely tell, so it's a keep. Third, for pants. These adorable teal little butterfly flowy shorts. My love, me amor. They're just so cute. I absolutely love them. They fit really nice and they're so cute. And then there's these though. They're the same thing. They're older and they have a lot of stains on them. We're not keeping these because womp womp. Next up, these shorts. These shorts, I love them. Except they're so booty, booty cheek shorts. You have to constantly keep like pulling them down and it's really annoying. I don't think I should keep these. Next up, these shorts I actually just recently got. They are from Ruth and Naomi. It's a small boutique. I will, this is their at. You should definitely go check them out because like, why not? These are so comfortable actually though. And I am obsessed with them. So these are a keep. I got these from PacSun. They fit me really nicely. I have the biggest trouble finding jeans for the longest time, but then I went to PacSun and now that is forever where I find my jeans because they actually fit my legs. I have runner size. Man, these jeans. These jeans are really fun. They have really big knee holes though. I think I'm gonna keep these, wait a little longer, and then see how I feel about them later. Actually, I don't wear these that much. Whatever happened to that Whatever happened to that three month rule, I never wear them. Lululemon leggings that I got at Plato's Closet for $30. Keep y'all, keep. These are the best leggings ever. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of leggings. They make my legs itch. <laughs> Beautiful. This skirt, it's very fun, it's flowy. It's a skirt. I believe Swift's from Amazon. Another one of these butterfly shorts, these little flowy shorts. I actually love these. They're I'm obsessed with these shorts. I wear them so much. We're keeping these. These leggings, I do not like. I don't wear them that much. They're not my favorite and these make my legs itch. These, these are actually so cute. These are these cherry shorts and they have this tie that goes around, but they were a little tight when I bought them and I bought them about six months ago. So I don't know if they're gonna fit me anymore. So. Last thing for shorts, pants, the bottom drawer. It's not my vibe. I don't like it. That's it for the short store. My camera is actually about to die, so I really have to charge that soon, but let's go through my swimsuit drawer. I have a lot of swimsuits. First, this swimsuit. It's adorable. Actually super cute. I got it from a small business, and it's just super adorable, and it fits really well, and it covers what it needs to. It's teenager appropriate. This was my swimming swimsuit, my open water swimsuit, okay, from last season. It doesn't fit me anymore. Oh, okay, I actually loved this swimsuit. It, it, the whole middle is open, and it's just not me. I'm gonna say no to this. This top, though, I wore it the other day to the beach, and it's very cute, and I really adore it. I have some anger against this swimsuit. Anger when I tell you. I have multiple of these too. It's because the story behind these swimsuits were I had to go to a summer camp, but I couldn't find any cute swimsuits, or at least any swimsuits that I thought would fit me. We opted for these swimsuits from Target. I bet they look great on other people, but for me, it's not it. Mm -mm. We're not, we're done with those. This, I got this from Dillard's a little bit ago. The bottoms are super adorable. They're in the kids section, so they have like actual full coverage, which I really appreciate. Women's clothes needs to get that. Then the top is super cute. It has a little bit of a V-neck, like my other one, but it's still cute. This swimsuit, it's double-sided. I got it at Ron John's. It's a billabong swimsuit, except it just, it doesn't, doesn't do it. There's no support anywhere in the swimsuit it's going back there this swimsuit though i love this so much it's a little one shoulder swimsuit it's a rip curl swimsuit and it's just so cute hold on look at this design 
It's so adorable and I absolutely love this. We're keeping it. Another lone top, it doesn't have a set. This swimsuit top is so adorable. The only ick, the only con about this is this gives you a tan, a farmer's tan. But if like you, if you're just going around, if you're just in the pool, this is perfect. I love it. This was a Justice swimsuit from Walmart a couple of years back. Fit me last year. It's a little tight now and it's just not, it's not my thing. The final two are rash guards. This rash guard happens to be my favorite. It's just a Roxy rip guard and it says see you soon. Look how cute that is. Lovely, keeping that. And then this swimsuit I've had since forever. I'm pretty sure I have a picture of me when I was seven wearing this. It's adorable. That is the end for the swimsuit chapter of this. Oh. Next, moving on to the closet. Hello. I'm gonna show you basically everything and try and tell you where I got it. This dress, I got this for my last homeschool dance. It was very adorable. I love this, I'm keeping it. I got it at Windsor. I love this dress. It's so adorable and it's so flowy. I don't usually like long dresses, but this one is just so perfect. And I got it at Dillard's. This shirt, I don't really know what to do with it. I'm saving it for summer, but like, I don't, I don't know if I'm actually gonna wear it, but I'm saving it for summer. And I, I don't know, man, it's a complicated story. It's, yeah. This dress, I wore this to a Halloween homeschool dance. This, I wear as a swimsuit cover up to the beach I got it from my mom's cousin. I absolutely love this little jacket. It's so cute. I got it at Tilly's and it was like 15 bucks on sale or something. And it was so cute and it's so fluffy. I wore this so much during the winter. But now it's about to be summer and I'm so sad that it's like not puffy season anymore. But it's okay. I'm keeping this because there will be a cold day in summer. I'm calling this and I want a cold day in summer. At least one so I can wear this. This, this is a little Lily Poulter dress. I got it on Facebook Marketplace. It's very adorable, and of course I'm keeping it. This is my comfy. It's a giant hoodie. I don't like this red sweater. It's not my favorite. At all. And it doesn't fit right. Mm -mm -mm. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Yeah, you're welcome for that, by the way. The next two sweaters, these are both from Shop Callisto. I don't wear this that much because it says birthday and it's not my birthday anymore, but I got it in a bigger size so I can wear it for my next birthdays as well. And this is my Save the Locals Shark sweatshirt. I'm so totally keeping these. These are so comfy. And she does literally the best job on these. This dress, it's this pretty like Tinkerbell green. I just have nowhere to wear it to. I need to wear this somewhere, but it's not like church, church appropriate, so I don't know, but I'm keeping it until I can find somewhere to wear it. I'm obsessed with this dress. I really love this dress. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I wear a little undershirt under it because it has a really deep V neck. It is, it is, it is her. It is her. This is from Target. Everybody is always asking me where this jacket is from because I used to wear it a lot during the fall and the winter because it was just a good throw on jacket and it's my favorite colors, orange and pink. Love orange and pink. I got this at Ross, I do believe myself. Another beach cover up. This, I got a Target. Very cute. It's a beach cover up. What else can I say? Student Life Camp sweatshirt. I love this and everybody looks good when they wear it. Funny story about this dress, I've actually worn this practically everywhere. I wore this to a school dance first, and then I wore it to church every single time. I over wore it, guys. And then I wore it to Easter 2023. I got this at Francesca's. This is actually a romper. It looks like a dress, and it's so cute. It's so flowy, and it's very lovely. I wore it on Good Friday service, and everybody was like, where did you get your dress from? And, and I was like, <laughs> it's a romper, guys. Stop. It's a romper. I got this at Plato's Closet, so you can't find it anywhere. Uh, this next shirt is from Ruth and Naomi Boutique. Again, like my whole outfit right now. I actually adore them. They have, like, the cutest, modest clothing. 
Another Plato's Closet piece. I've only worn it once, but I want to wear it more because it is so cute. I just love this hoodie. There's nothing much to say about it. It's tie-dye. It's adorable. This is the back of it. It's so thick and it's so soft too. Like, it is so good. So good. This is a summer top. I wore it all the time last summer. I'm hoping that I can wear it again this summer. I wore it as like a swimsuit cover-up as well. Oh! That's why it was cracking. Maybe you don't play with the hangers that are cracking. I made this sweater. I got it from Michaels. Well, I got the sweater and the patches from Michaels and I just put it together. This was my... Uh, no. Okay, that's not true. This is one of my best thrifting finds from Plato's Closet. But this is a Love Shack fancy dress. I got it for like 12 bucks at Plato's Closet. I always get compliments when I wear this shirt as well. It's very adorable and I got it at Plato's Closet too. No, I did not. I got this at Francesca's. Stop saying the wrong name. I only have a few more pieces, I guess, in here. But I have this... It has bows and it says fearfully and wonderfully made. I got it from Sky Saying Things Shop. Speaking of merch, this is a Girl With Jesus' merch. And I wear this so much. It is so comfortable. And if you like this, you should go to her Instagram and shop the link in her bio. Because it's actually the best. And there's so many different colors. This I wear a lot, but it's kind of uncomfortable, not gonna lie. Maybe I keep it. Maybe I, I'm keeping it. This may be the one thing that I'm getting rid of. A Walmart jacket. It kind of just made me look like a like a beach bum. And like I love being a beach bum. But like it didn't look right. I love this dress very much. I just need to wear it more. It's so cute. That's all I have to say about this. I got it at Francesca's and I wore this to a homeschool dance. But all of my dance dresses I wear to church except for the blue sparkly one. That is not church appropriate y'all. This is probably going to be the second thing that I get rid of. No, I'm not. I don't want to get rid of this. I don't know, y'all. Uh, I think I'm going to keep this, actually. Two more things. I have this dress from Francesca's. It is the most adorable dress ever. It's like a little baby doll dress. I look like a fun little cupcake. Then I have the sweater from Billabong. It's very beachy, and it's just super cute. That's it for my closet. I'm sitting very awkwardly right now. Look at my little slippers. This is an outro. Ugh. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I really enjoy every single view, every single like, every single comment, every single thing that you can interact with this video. I just totally appreciate it. Hope to see you guys next week.